disaster porn. I've been watching. I mean, you can't turn on the TV right now without seeing hurricane porn, right? <laughs> it's, just, it's just all the time. And, and it's like, you know, yeah, there's, there's winds out there. You know, there's winds all over the place, but, uh, and, and, you know, this storm was a terrible storm, and what it did to the Bahamas is, is truly horrific. And, you know, now it's going up the East Coast, and yeah, that's going to be a problem. I don't think that the going up the East Coast part of it as a Cat 2 necessarily deserves all the coverage it's getting, but the, the thing that is really missing is any discussion whatsoever about climate change. This storm took out the Bahamas, and 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 frankly, you know, uh, so far the death toll is seven. But you know, obviously, I mean, you just look at the pictures. Um, yes, there was an evacuation. I don't know how, com how thorough or comprehensive that evacuation is, but you know, I would say fairly obviously that death toll is going to go up. You'll recall, you know, when Trump went to uh, Puerto Rico, which was the last time we had a Category Five hurricane, and which he was, he was like. I don't, I don't think I've ever even heard of a Category 5 earthquake. That's because you weren't paying attention to, her, to, to, uh, to what happened to Puerto Rico. But, but, you know, the bottom line is that, I think that was Maria, wasn't it? But uh, in any case, what, what, uh, what nobody's discussing is that this storm would not have been as serious as it was if the waters of the, uh, you know, of the Caribbean were not a couple of degrees warmer than they typically are. And, and this is the, the clear consequence of climate change. About 90% of the heat that the atmosphere has been holding is ending up in our oceans, and it's bleaching the coral reefs all around the world. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia is nearly dead. Uh, you know, it, it, this, this is a serious, ser I mean, this is dramatic climate change that we're watching right in front of us. And yet there's no mention of it. Now, if you turn on European television, and even, I mean, just watch the BBC or France 24, right? They're, you know, most cable systems have them, or a lot of them do. Uh, or you can get them online. And they do weather reports, or they'll report on our hurricane. And they just mention in passing, you know, the, this is being made worse by climate change. The U.S. media does not ever talk about this, or when they do, it's very, very rare. Eric Bollert had a piece over on Daily Kos uh, this morning or last night talking about how there's this uh, this website that monitors the the three cable TV networks Fox CNN and MSNBC and you know uh, over a thousand mentions I forget the number but it's well over a thousand mentions of of hurricane and fewer than a hundred mentions of global climate change and those were probably all limited to MSNBC and they probably weren't the news shows um, so why is that why is it that the corporate media in the United States never mentions climate change, particularly in the context of these kinds of disasters, and yet the media of other countries does? Why is it that the media in the United States does not, when there's a mass shooting, does not talk about the clear association, the absolute, this is not even in dispute. The more guns you have, the more killings you're going to have. Period. It's real simple. Why is it that they never mention that? And, you know, we come up with these elaborate conspiracy theories for why this is the case. And, oh, it's the corporate media. And, oh, they share boards of directors with fossil fuel companies and gun manufacturers. Quack, 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 quack. I, I, you know, it just hit me this morning when I was uh, putting together. Our, we, do, we do a little paragraph every day that we put up on Facebook. And I was, I was putting this thing together. It suddenly hit me why the media doesn't talk about climate change in the context of extreme weather and why they don't talk about the, the number of guns in the United States in the context of mass shootings and, and other problems. Uh, an article in Newsweek just this, you know, just uh, yesterday or the day before about uh, a woman whose 18-year-old daughter came home from college unannounced and mom shot her. I mean, you know, this, <laughs> this is like... Why don't we discuss this? Well, I think it's because they've been politicized. Now, I realize that that sounds kind of, well, what does that mean? But let me, let me explain this. The Republican Party is now wholly owned or has created an absolute, unshakable, top to bottom, left to right alliance with the fossil fuel industry, and the National Rifle Association and the weapons manufacturers that it represents. 
That is the GOP right now. So the reality of climate change in every other country in the world, now keep in mind, this, here's the, 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 big, the big piece to this whole thing. We are literally the only country on earth that has a political party that says climate change doesn't exist. Or if it does, it's natural and it's irrelevant. We're the only country in the world, the only developed country in the world that has a single political party that thinks that having as many guns in circulation as possible is a good thing. I pointed out yesterday, Greg Abbott uh, signed into law seven different pieces of legislation the day before, well, they went into effect the, the day after the, uh, the, this most recent shooting in Texas. And so these are, so when the media thinks about talking about or reporting on issues that have to do with climate change or that have to do with guns, they don't think of them as, hey, this is, we need to report on science or we need, you know, the science of climate change or the science that shows that more guns, more deaths, more gun deaths. They don't, they don't think that. They think instead, uh, well, the Republicans are all in favor of this. And so if we report the science on this, it seems like we're taking the side of the Democrats. And we don't want to be the ones who are taking the sides of the Democrats because ever since Lee Atwater, they've been working the refs. Right? They, you know, for, for, for 30 years now, the Republicans, have, 40 years, the Republicans have been yelling and screaming about liberal media's bi media bias to the point that the media in this country is just absolutely gun shy. They're, they're terrified of these Republicans. And by the way, it's true. If the media, if I, I, I can, you know, I can tell you, I mean, you know, you, Clearly, it happens, you know, with this program, I talk about climate change and I, I get hate mail from people going, oh, you're just pushing the Democrats. No, it's got nothing to do with Democrats. It's got to do with climate change or guns. Oh, you're just, you know, you're one of those Democrats who has to take your guns. No, it's got to do with, this is science. But because these industries have been able to buy a political party with a little help from the Supreme Court, that political party gives cover to these industries. It's this in, in, incredible loop. And I don't know the answer. I, you know, frankly, I don't know how to convince our media that climate change is not a partisan issue. 